hey, we're going to look at using Google Slides to um, do layout for a storybook. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a slideshow in the folder for your class. So I'm going to go into my class folder in Google Drive and then I'm going to say new Google Slide. And straight away here I could give my um, story a title. Okay, and is that right? I don't even know. Mon histoire? You can correct me later. And then um, you probably want to add some pictures. So uh, I happen to have a photo downloaded here that I can just drop in. And it's a pretty cool picture. And I'm going to go ahead and resize it. And then you'll notice that my picture has gone in front of my text, which is a problem. So I can right click on the photo and I can look at my order and I can send it to the back and that brings my text out to the front and then we can see we have the problem that there's not enough contrast so we can just kind of move this say for example to the top change the color of the um, writing uh, sometimes you need to go here to get more choices there we go we can change our color here make sure we're in text let's turn it white and then let's take a look okay that's still not enough contrast so another trick is to change the color of the text box so let's do that okay and then just go here to fill and you can make you can do all kinds of choices um, I'm going to choose gradient and give it a hint of purple. Yeah, because that's awesome. Maybe you would want to match with the hands or something like that. So you got free choice there. And then there are, um, there we go. And you can delete any text boxes you don't want. When you're adding new, new text boxes, you just go insert text box and then click and drag so maybe um, you would say de Madame Chelsea or put your name for the author or by I don't know I'm trying to be French but okay by Madame Chelsea and put any other details you want to put and then you're going to add another page plus um, and if you choose the down arrow here you can choose different formats so maybe you might want to choose something like that this one and then you could put say a picture over here and your text over here so let's say we're going to highlight that box and delete it and then here we're going to have un jour quand je marchais okay and then over here maybe you'd put another picture um, and uh, you can carry on like that. Once you get uh, your pictures organized and you're ready to download, you just go um, File, Download As, and then you can use um, JPG or PNG. Both are good. Um, I'm just going to pick JPG. And so that will take this one, and you can see I've got it here should have given my presentation a title and you can go ahead and go through and do that for each one of the pages for your book okay so that's how you can use Google Slides to work on the layout for creating your story